Good morning. It's time for the Fox Daily News. Top stories today are a woman from Lancaster County is being charged with assault with and battery. An armed robbery has been reported in from a local Mechanicsburg shop. And our final news corresponding has a special report on a young boy's act of charity with the aid of a corresponding from Medical News, Dr. Harrison. Let's start with our special report. I'm throwing it to Priscilla out on the field. Thanks, Emma. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Jonathan McIntosh. Jonathan is a student at Cumberland Valley High School, and he's doing something extraordinary. He's selling his amazing artwork to help raise money to build wells in Africa, but he's fighting his own personal battles. Jonathan, can you tell us about your project first? Sure. Well, I really like art, and I'm good at it, too. But when I'm in my history class, we were, and I was studying Africa, I decided that we as a country should try harder to aid the c countries in need. I just worked on, a p on the piece. It takes me a, long, a little longer to get things done, but in two days. I can usually finish the project with the money I make. More work is able to be done in the African water project. I like knowing that doing something I can love can aid others. That's absolutely wonderful, Jonathan. Now, can you tell us a little about yourself? I have issues making friends at and the ones I do are mostly girls. I'm not as active as, as the other boys in my age group. I try easy, but I have a speaking problem. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. You seem pretty friendly to us, right, Emma? Right, Jonathan. If you don't mind answering, do you know any sources of these problems? I have Klinefeld syndrome. I got made fun of a lot because I'm different. I'm sorry. Would you mind if we asked for some info from Dr. Harrison? No, that's not a problem at all. Brilliant. Dr. Philip. Hello. Here's the problem. You see, here on John Doe, there are two chromosomes for all, almost all 23 sets. On this carrier type, however, it's visible that the 23rd, on the 23rd set, there's an extra chromosome, an X chromosome to be specific. John Doe has Klinefelters. Can you tell us as to who it affects? Symptoms begin to be be taller than other males, but his voice will still deepen. The downside to his syndrome is that his probability to contract things such as autoimmune disorders, breast cancer, vein disease, osteoporosis, and tooth decay are heightened. 95 to 99% of these males are infertile, but there's hope. Treatment should start as early as possible. For education, there are special services such as teachers willing to break down larger assignments into smaller tasks. There's therapeutic treatment such as physical, mental, occupational, speech, behavioral, and health and family therapists. For these medical treatments, there's a bit of a stigma. Uh, one should not begin this treatment until puberty begins. Testosterone replacement therapy, also known as TRT, can help with the deepening of the voice, muscle development, and the growth of facial and body hair. There is also fertility treatment to aid these men in the possibility of being able to father children. Well, thank you, Dr. Harrison. Jonathan, it was nice getting to learn about your work and your syndrome. If you, the viewer, are interested in any of Jonathan's artwork or are interested in learning more about Kleinfeld syndrome, visit the links to our website, www.thedailynews.com. Now we're sending it back to newscaster Emma in the studio. Thanks so much, Priscilla. We're going to take to a short commercial break, and when we return, We'll take a look at the seven-day weather forecast. 